Now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. I know it's not true, but sometimes I get thinking everyone is smarter than I am. We all think that once in a while, but you can't dismiss the idea completely because sometimes it's true. I read several newspapers every morning, and the editors assume I understand everything in those newspapers. Well, I don't understand everything in the newspaper, and I wish they'd stop assuming that I do. A lot of what I don't understand is about money and the bailout plan. Look at this headline, Bank Bailout Plan Revamped. Well, I don't know what vamped means, so how could I understand what revamped means? How do you vamp a bailout plan, anyway? Here's another headline, U.S. Bank Bailout to Rely in Part on Private Money. Here's a headline that catches your eye, both eyes, really. Vulture investors eye bad assets, but warily. Am I the only one who doesn't know what they're talking about? I get the Wall Street Journal in my office every day, but don't ask me what half of it means. Housing index rises 6.3%, but recovery is still elusive. BHP earnings decline 57% as prices demand slump. Yum profit falls 12%. Does everyone know what a yum profit is? A man I don't know anything about, Tim Geithner, was just appointed Secretary of the Thank Treasury. You, sir, I was impressed with him because of the speech he made. He used so much language I didn't understand. That always impresses me. Here are some of the phrases Mr. Geithner used that I didn't get. Financial Stability Trust. Financial Stability Trust. Legacy loans and assets. To the legacy loans and assets. Bridge to private capital. Bridge to private capital. Secondary lending markets. Secondary lending markets. Am I the only one who doesn't know what a secondary lending market is? Chairman Chris Dodd in the Senate, Chairman Barney Frank in the House, and their colleagues on both sides of the aisle. I think Mr. Geithner should dumb it down when he's talking to the rest of us. Sometimes I wish I decided to be a banker instead of a writer, but not very often.